in the early morning hours, well, at least the early morning hours for us here in the US, Xtool dropped a new product, the Xtool P2S. And as someone who works with Xtool, uh, I think it's pretty obvious if you watch my channel, I normally know when all the new products are coming out. But this one I hadn't heard about. So I wanted to make this video and this is gonna be the first time that I see this information as well. And if you are someone who was in the market for buying an Xtool P2, does it make sense for you to wait for this Xtool P2S? So let's check it out. All right, so the first thing we see when we get to the Xtool P2S page is some information about their deposit. It looks like a $30 deposit locks in the deal that they're offering for this P2S. We'll talk about the deposit a little bit later, um, but this is normally how X, Xtool launches their products. They um, do the deposit method, probably gives them a general gauge of how much uh, product they're gonna need and they offer you uh, some freebies usually and uh, a more discounted price. You can see it here, $30 equals $300 on your order. And you also get a honeycomb panel but we'll talk about depositing later. Let's watch the video. So this is the video that popped up on my YouTube feed when I got up this morning and I was like, oh, I have to watch this. At X2, we are all about taking what is great and make it even better. The P2 got a lot of love for its performance and design, but your feedback showed us where we could push further. X2 is always evolving, creating smaller, more convenient tools for you. That's how the P2S came to life. With these key upgrades, that's really make a difference. Just to stop to say, that's one thing I do like about working with X2 is they are very receptive to um, issues and criticisms of their product. And every time they iterate, they're always they always take that information into consideration, which is really cool. We think about every detail, like making optical path alignment more easier. The real-time indicator light shows you exactly what's happening, so even beginners can master it with confidence. P2S now features a system like a high-speed vacuum, clearing dust faster and keeping your workspace clean. Plus. Future screens and quick release button are added to make daily maintenance even more convenient. We have packed the P2S with dual sided L pumps, so now you get a double L throw without taking out extra space. The result cleaner, sharper cuts every single time. From our service, many of customers love engraving hammers, so what made it easier to engrave curved cylinders with a new feature? Now, you have the chance to offer more custom products and expand your business. With batch processing on the P2S, you can work on different designs within the same project, saving time and streamlining the workflow. And then with a faster X-axis model, you will finish your engraving up to 40% quicker. Spend less time waiting and more time cleaning. The P2 was already built to perfection. And with the P2S, we have keep all those details you love. Our custom 65 watt laser chip went through about two years of extreme testing. And until now, it's still going strong and performing at its best. The lead is designed to stay steady, keeping your hands safe and pinch free. Integrating dual camera wasn't easy, but the benefits are clear. They help you achieve accurate precision of a tiny objects and they reduce material waste. But in general, the Xtool P2 was the machine I wound up using the most um, just because the user experience was great. Uh, and then having the nice S upgrade adds some really good quality of life. Looks like some people got the P2S. It has some amazing upgrades to the fan and air assist. Upgrades that make engraving and cutting cleaner and faster. A dual layer fan to speed up both cleanup and smoke extraction. The P2S really surprised me. Everything works extremely smooth. Even okay, I think these are just gonna end on some um, reviews. So let's bring this back to where they start talking about the new features here. And let's discuss them. 
development more easier. The real-time indicator light shows you exactly what's happening. So even beginners can master it with confidence. All right, so looks like one of the first upgrades is the optical path indicator. And this is, for anyone who doesn't know, this is for when you have to align your mirrors. And aligning your mirrors is one of the worst things you're ever going to have to do when you're working on your laser. And I'm sure that all of the tech support calls, the minute a customer talks about help, you know, needs help aligning their mirrors, they probably just like sulk in their seats like, oh God, here we go. So having a indicator beam like this, uh, this red light indicator beam is really going to help visualize how to uh, align your mirrors instead of putting a piece of tape directly on the mirror and then having to fire your laser and seeing where the dot landed on the tape and then repeating that. This um, optical path indicator is going to give a much better um, visualization of the alignment of your mirrors. So that is a really welcome upgrade for sure. P2S now features a system like a high-speed vacuum, clearing dust faster and keeping your workspace clean. Plus, filter screens and quick release button are added to make daily maintenance even more convenient. All right, this is the great upgrade. This is the this is the upgrade that they needed. Um, when I did my review for the P2, I talked about this in my review. The problem with the tabletop, desktop, the smaller compact lasers like this is there's just not enough airflow to exhaust everything out fast enough, at least for me, especially when you're dealing with something that's really smoky like wood or really stinky like acrylic there needed to be more power pulling the exhaust out of these machines. So what happened was an industry kind of popped up of people modifying the exhaust ports to use um, larger fans and bypassing the internal fans altogether. Um, even Xtool themselves sell a six inch, or I think it's a six inch external fan that hooks up to the P2 because they know that you know, people want more exhaust power. So having a remo easily removable, easily cleaned, uh, filtered um, fan, fan situation is going to be a great upgrade for the P2. Let me see what they mentioned there at the end. Filter screens and quick release button. So quick release button, you don't have to spend your time unscrewing it, which doesn't take a long time, but it is annoying. I added to make daily maintenance even more. And then it looks like there's two filter screens. So maybe two filter screens. I can't exactly tell where that is. So I don't know if there's one or multiple filter screens, but this is going to drastically increase the life of your fan. The problem with the fan systems are if you run your machines a lot and there's no filter whatsoever, all of that smoke and exhaust and nasty stuff just destroys your fan, especially if you're not cleaning it regularly. And when you have to spend so much time unscrewing and screwing back in your fan, you're going to opt not to clean it as much as you should. So having this quick release system is a great upgrade. We have packed the P2S with dual sided air pumps. So now you get a double airflow without taking out extra space. The result, cleaner, cuts every single time. So the next upgrade that they're talking about is for the air assist. So this is, for anyone who's not, uh, not familiar, this is where there is actually a stream of air that blows right down through where your laser is cutting, right down to your material. This helps with much cleaner cuts, especially when you're cutting thicker materials. It's really important to use your air assist. And so this looks like I never really had too many issues with their air assist because I never did a lot of um, really thick cutting on my P2. But for anyone who is cutting wood and stuff like that, having a more powerful air assist is definitely an upgrade. Extra space. The result, cleaner, sharper cuts every single time. 
from our service. Many of customers love engraving envelopes, so we made it easier to engrave curved cylinders with a new feature. Now you have the chance to offer more custom products and expand your business. This one I'm not exactly sure. I don't think this is a hardware upgrade. Can't tell. This should be a this should be a software thing. Um I, and I don't know how this is different from the curved surface capabilities they currently have, but I've never really done though I've never really done curved in my P2, so um I'm going to have to I'm going to have to defer on that one. Okay, so here we're looking at using their batch processing capability, which does already exist in Xtool Creative Space, but allowing you to, um, it looks like put the information in an array that it'll um, put different numbers. Like, so you can see here in the example, it has 203 down here, 204, 202, 201. So if you needed to do something like this, where each, each item in your batch has to be a little bit different, this will allow you to do that because before when you were doing your batch processing everything had to be the exact same and then with a faster x access model you will finish engraving up to 40 percent quicker spend less time waiting and more time creating the p2 was okay so another upgrade faster what did that say 40 percent 40 percent faster acceleration on the x access motor um I don't know if that's hardware related or probably something in the software that they upgraded to deal with the uh, acceleration better. But I guess we'll be able to find out once we scroll down and look at the specs. Spend less time waiting and more time creating. The P2 was already built to perfection. And with the P2S, we have keep all those details you love. Our custom 55 watts laser chip went through about two years of extreme testing. And until now, it's still going strong and performing at its best. The lead is still... Okay, so a translation there is the tube is the exact same. 55-watt uh, CO2 laser glass tube. Uh, that did not change. Designed to stay steady, keeping your hands safe and pinch-free. Integrating dual camera wasn't easy, but the benefits are clear. They help you achieve accurate precision of a tiny objects and they reduce material waste. But in general, okay, so I think that those last three things just meant uh, they're, they're staying the same as they were on the P2. So the tube is the same, the lid style is the same, and the camera system is the same. All right, nice video. Let's go down to the specs to see what's actually different between the two. So we have the P2S column on the left, the P2 on the right. Price, same price, but the price with deposit, that's that's going to be important to remember. So these are the same price as of right now, but this is the price with deposit. So we don't know what the price is going to be if you decide not to put a deposit down on the P2S. Bed size is exactly the same. Working space is exactly the same. The laser power is exactly the same. Product size, exactly the same. Weight, exactly the same. You see where I'm going with this. Um, working speed is exactly the same. However, it has the X axis acceleration double than it does on the P2. Again, I, I think that's going to be something they did in the software. They tuned in the software rather than some new hardware, but I could be wrong. Workspace height, same. Risers, uh, rotary, same. Z-axis, same. Operating temperature, same, same. So the air assist is different. The air assist is a little bit more powerful, so it goes from single cylinder to the dual cylinders, as they mentioned in the video. Exhaust fan. Uh, one from 145 CFM to 233.3 CFM. So a marked improvement on the stock exhaust fan. 
which is really important. It's one, like, as I mentioned earlier, it's one of my biggest gripes with the smaller desktop lasers is the exhaust fan is just never strong enough. Optical path indicator included. So there is no optical path indicator on the P2. You kind of just got to do it the old school way. Uh, maintenance, quick release fan, filter screen, and the mistake proof laser mirror. I think that re refers to the optical path indicator. And there is no such thing of those on the P2. Water cooling, the same. Ranging system, the same. Cameras are the same. Pixels are the same. Same, same, same. Okay, so everything else is the same. All right, so given all that information, this is my suggestion for anyone who was already shopping around for a P2 and this just happened to pop up on your screen. Scenario number one. You were going to buy a P2 and you don't particularly need it tomorrow. Um, the holiday season's coming up, so I'm sure these are going to be shipping relatively soon. They're going to want to beat the holiday rush. Uh, but you might want to double check with Xhole to see when these are shipping out because I don't see it on the page here. But yeah, if, you, if you're willing to put down your $30 deposit and get this P2S whenever it is shipping out, it's probably worth it because it's being sold at the same price you would be spending if you bought uh, the stock P2 right now. You're getting all of these new features for the same price. So that's a no-brainer. Put down your deposit and get the P2S. Scenario number two, you really, really want a laser right now. Um, all of these things are nice, but they can be worked around. If you, if you really, really want to buy a P2 right now and get started, you can go ahead and buy the stock model. But I'm going to say mm, I might wait because once the P2S comes out, whatever remaining P2s that they have might go on sale, in which case you can probably pick one up at a nicer price. But yeah, all in all, these are smaller yet important upgrades that they made to the stock unit. You can see that the overall size of the laser is the same. The optics are the same. The tube is the same. All of that stuff is the same. They weren't trying to make a brand new laser here. They were just trying to add some finishing touches, some 2.0 upgrades, as you will, to a laser that's already working well for them. If you want to check out this page and learn more about the Xtool P2S, there is a link in the video description below. See you guys later.